Ultraman 52 here. Uh, two things. One, sorry for the new background. Um, I would normally film my regular spot, but I have a but my mom put a bunch of my uncle's crap there that um, seemingly has nowhere else to be stored in my place or her place. So she's storing it right freaking where my filming area is. So oh well. And two, sorry for my face being so damn bright. The light is literally right here. As you can see, um, because there, there's no other good place to put the light, so it's right now, right on my face. So if it's all glowy and all that crap, then you have, then you obviously know. But this is the Black Friday pickups video. Um, I want to get this is being uploaded on Friday. I'm actually recording this uh, pretty uh, not like late, late, but it's uh, almost three in the morning here on Wednesday uh, of the recording of this video, but. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get on to showing the stuff. So first, uh, I only have three things to show, but I was originally going to pick up that uh, Space Jam Steelbook Blu-ray. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I passed on it. Uh, not because I didn't have the money. I, I had more than enough money to buy it. It's just I really thought about it. I'm like, you know what? This is here all the time. It's Even if it goes back up to, I think, like $10, that's still not a bad price at all for a Steelbook Blu-ray of Space Jam. So I just passed on it for now. Uh, Josh was the one that in fact bought that exact same steelbook, uh, the one that I left. And he only wanted the digital copy of the movie, which I'm like, why don't you just give me the movie, like give me the steelbook and movie, and you can keep the damn digital copy. I, I have no idea. Josh said that he might get, get rid of the Blu-ray, but who knows. But, excuse me, first I picked up from Best Buy, well, the first two things I'm going to show came from, from Best Buy. This one, I have um, the sequel, I guess you might call it, 2.8, but I picked it from Best Buy. Kingdom Hearts 2.5, 1.5 2.5 .5 remix. Um, very happy to finally own this. Kind of see without the glare, if I can... Can't really show it that much like, with the glare, but very, very cool. Check it out. There you go. You can, uh, yeah, that's about as best as, as, I, as I can really show it. But yeah, um, I was planning to buy this from GameStop uh, used, but um, used at GameStop, this was for like thirty dollars with in ch change. That's with the Elite Pro membership. But Best Buy had this on sale for twenty dollars, brand new on Black Friday. I could not pass that up. That's a really good deal. It's still forty brand new, so fifty so bleh, so fifty percent off. I will take that. Also, up oh, ditch on the inside. Inside, there's nothing, just the game, and that's it, really. So, oh well. But what do you get in here, obviously? Um, you get, of course, Kingdom Hearts uh, Final Mix, which is the definitive version of the game. You get uh, Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. I'm not really that big of a fan of that game, to be honest. Uh, Kingdom Hearts, two, th sorry, 358 by 2 days HD Remaster Cinematic, so that, that's basically the entire game's uh, cutscenes remastered it in HD. Um, so it's pretty long, like a few hours worth of cutscenes. So grab some popcorn and a drink and just watch that. Now that's on 1.5. Now 2.5 you get, of course, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, which is my favorite, uh, which is one of my top 10 favorite games of all time. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix, I've beaten the crap out of that on, on the PS3 version. And, um, Oh, excuse me. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Recoded HD Remastered Cinematic. So, same thing as 358 by 2 days. You're just watching a few hours worth of cutscenes for the entire game. Kind of sucks that, that, that they didn't uh, do what they did with uh, Dream Drop Distance and, and remaster the whole game uh, for the PS4 with um, with uh, 358 by 2 days and Recoded, but, you know, whatever. But... Next game, this one, very excited to get. I paid 30 bucks for this, also from Game from GameStop, also from uh, Best Buy. This is usually $60 brand new. I knew this was eventually going to come out, um, but I picked up the Game of the Year edition of Fallout 4. Yeah, I finally have this now. Um, I used to have the core game Fallout 4 until I sold it because I figured there was going to be a Game of the Year coming out, and guess what? There was. So, very cool. This contains all six of the DLCs. 
DLC packs or whatever you want to call it, it contains. It includes Fallout 4 core game plus add-ons, the Automatron DLC, the Wasteland Workshop, uh, Far Harbor, uh, the Contraptions Workshop, Vault Tech Workshop, and Nuka World. And that's it. So think of it in the sense that you're, because this is on sale for Black Friday for 30 bucks. So think of it in the sense that you're just paying $30 for the season pass and you're getting the game for free. So that's, that's how I think of it. Which, um, I didn't have any anything eat. I only paid ten dollars for the regular edition of, of Fallout 4 from Josh. So honestly, I I didn't lose it like anything. <laughs> so it was a, a really well needed upgrade. But what you get inside, which is pretty cool. Also, I didn't again. Here's the front. Here's the back. There's all the DLCs and cool stuff. Inside, you get of course the game disc, the warranty information, and how to play the game with the control schemes. But what you also get is you get of course the um, code to download the see all the uh, to de yeah you get the code to download the season pass which is pretty cool. I reuse it so I will most likely just throw this away. And you also get this right here. Now what is this? Well, it's a little poster. And I'll open it up to show you. So we have and it's here you go. And there you go. There you go. It is a poster of all the perks in the game. So that's really cool. I'm not gonna hang it up only because just I don't really have any space for it. Well, not well, I have a bunch of space. So I don't really want to put it up in my room. So, but yeah, the season pass will come with that. This whole piece of will be thrown, will be uh, thrown away. So yeah, but pretty cool. And definitely a really good investment for 30 bucks to get the entire game of all the DLC. That's a really, really good deal. And last game, you all should know, I show it in my Black Friday video, which you, which you, which you have, yeah, I can't talk to them, I'm, I'm tired, by the way. Um, if you have not seen the video, I will link it down below. I will also link down below my PSN Plus, my, my PSN Plus, my PSN, I get I'm really tired. Um, I will link down below my, my PSN name, so if you guys want to add me, I play a really large majority of games. Um, online, I play Overwatch. I don't, I don't really play Call of Duty unless it's zombies on, online, but yeah. But, show the luck in my Black Friday video, picked up South Park, The Fractured Butthole. I have already played the first hour and a half, two hours of this really, and I'm loving it so far. It's a great game. Uh, very funny. Of course, made by uh, uh, Trey Parker and Matt Stone, the creators of South Park. Um, just absolutely hilarious game. This is so much fun. Of course, the front cover. Uh, we have, of course, Cartman. And Mysterion, who's played with Kenny, obviously. Back. Now, this also contains the free game of the Stick of Truth. You can't really see it because of the damn. Yeah, right there it says. I'm sorry. Right there says you can get the Stick of Truth and everything for free. So, you do get a couple inserts, which, of course, the first thing you get, of course, is the full game. There you go. You also get this little advertisement for the 20th season of South Park. South Park has been on air for 20 years. Holy crap! Um, of course, if you have Hulu, there really is no point to get to getting these anymore. But um, I would say to support the show, I would say definitely, you know, pick pick this up. It's, it's pretty funny. Well, it's really cool. And on the back, you get the uh, Spanish advertisement for it, so that's pretty awesome. And you also get this. I've already used the code, so you get Towley, your little uh, Towley, your gaming buddy. Um, all this is really is just Towley uh, popping up occasionally on screen to give you some game tips and it's not even, it doesn't change any kind of gameplay at all, it's just little, it's just Towley popping up every now and then to be annoying. But again, I've already used so I will most likely end up throwing this away. And last thing here is, uh, I'll show it up a lot. This right here is the code to get South Park the Stick of Truth for PS4. Now, I'm going to be holding a little giveaway, so giveaway time guys, for the code for the South Park is to be true on PS4. Now this is only for PS4 users, so this is a great way for me to give back to my subscribers for you know all you guys and all that good stuff. So, how do you enter the giveaway? Well, it's three easy steps. One, you subscribe to my YouTube page. Two, give this video a thumbs up. And three, which is the most important, leave a comment down below who is favorite South Park character and why is that your favorite South Park character? So again, please subscribe, please subscribe to my YouTube page, thumbs up the video, and leave a comment down below who is your favorite South Park character and why. Now since this video is uploaded on Friday,
Friday, I will announce the winner next Friday. So which will be, yeah, I'm, again, I'm too tired to really like look up the date. But next Friday, I'll make a little video for my phone showing, uh, saying the winner's name. Um, everybody that enters, I'll write their, their name down on a, uh, a piece of paper and slips of paper, put them into like a bowl and just mix it up and pull the random person that name out or whatever. But, yeah, um, that is it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And, again, if you guys um, want the code for South Park, Stick of Truth on PS4, please uh, just do all three of those the things that you can enter. And, of course, like I said, it is just for uh, PS4 people only. Uh, so I apologize if you're a Xbox gamer or a PC gamer or a uh, Nintendo player. Um, you cannot enter and, and the contest, but if you, but what games, but what you got, but what did you guys pick up regardless for Black Friday? So let me know down in the comments section below as well. Of course, if anyone wants, of course, and enter the comment, uh, enter the, the contest or giveaway, should be giveaway. But yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed. I'm gonna go to bed now because I'm tired as hell. And again, hope you guys all enjoyed. And sayonara.